So the hottest story in the land right now, uh, we had two kids uh, selling lemonade a couple of days ago mm-hmm. in the West Island. And uh, I guess an adult felt that they were screaming too loud on the megaphone and called the police. Hmm. The police came and the police acted really uh, a little bit disgusting. Well, you know, they acted as a tote, how they normally do. Yeah. Well, you know what? I want to hear, I, I, I want to hear the story fresh, fresh from the mother. So we have Ayana. Part two, Shmasa. Did I say it right? Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Did I get you right in there? Absolutely. Okay, so now I got got you all tuned in here. So walk me through this story. Well, first of all, welcome to the morning detail. And th- thank you for taking time out of your morning to come down. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, guys. I'm, I'm really honored to be here. So what's going on? You have two children, Ariel and Ness, eight and 11. I do. I have three children. <laughs> I have Hennessy as well, who is going to be 20 years old. Um, so Hennessy was too cool to, to, to be selling lemonade. She wasn't ready. Hennessy is in Israel on the <laughs> beach. Okay, while, okay. Uh, selling lemonade. Oh, okay, flexing. She's in Israel. Okay, getting back in touch with the roots. So you know, you would think. Listen, man, I, I saw the story. Say, like, look, look, look at these two young brothers, man. Mm-hmm. Enterprising entrepreneurs trying to make a little change for good cause. It wasn't even for themselves. No, it wasn't even to buy some Roblox. No, and they're so sweet. They're such darlings. I had the opportunity of spending some time with them. They're absolute sweethearts. They are the light of my life. And I am so lucky to share them with the world right now. I think they brought such a beautiful light and Mm. so much hope to people in a time where everybody's struggling Mm. with this crazy pandemic. Mm. Um, You know, people struggle with mental health. Mm. People struggle with depression. uh, People struggle with job loss. I mean, it's been such an insane Mm. Uh, time for the world yeah. and to have these two little boys who just brought so much light and love and hope I mean I am at the point right now where I'm like I need someone to do social media because 3,500 messages that I'm not able to get to I mean the love has been incredible the 2% the hate has been crazy I mean I've had people tell me I should go kill myself yeah. that I am not yeah. sick that I'm using my kids to make money um, but I I really think that it's such an important thing to be here, to be able to to really put a spotlight on what these kids have done. Because yeah. unfortunately, with what's happened, mm. um, you know, with the police, and it's become a political issue. Yeah. And they're trying to dim the light of these two beautiful souls yeah. that really have made a change. And that's what I tell my boys. I'm like, do you guys realize the change that you are bringing into this world. And I want to say, mm-hmm. um, you know, I'm 39 years old. I'm a mother of three children. It's not my first rodeo. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm a mother of three children of color. Yeah. Uh, my daughter is a beautiful black woman who I've always taught. You are going to stick up for yourself. You are going to be proud of who you are, proud of your roots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that as a mother who always led by example for her kids, um, to go through something like that, I have no choice but to not remain silent. And yeah. and there are there are a lot of great cops in this world. Mm-hmm. The problem is the system. We are stuck in a systemic problem. Yeah. And so, you know, it's like enough is enough. People are afraid to be politically incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. And so let's not be politically correct this time. No, you're in the right place. Absolutely. No, you, you're in the right place. <laughs> no, so we're going to call right a couple people. So, yes. so, so, so let's get to the crust of the story, and I, w- I don't want to get your take yes. on it. So your two boys are outside selling lemonade. They're trying to raise funds for multiple sclerosis. You were diagnosed about two years ago. Correct. So great. So they weren't trying to raise, and even if they were, I've been to many neighborhoods where kids are selling lemonade, yeah. for, and, and, it, and there's never a cause attached to it. That is what I said. I said, had my boys been raising with lemonade, $1 lemonade, mind you, to that's buy a, a PS5. That's a good price right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Listen, did let's you, just say that. Did you make some lemonade this morning? Let's just, oh, I'm, <laughs> we have a rule on the show. Uh, no, if, if you make food or juice, you got to bring a sample to the show. Let DJ me tell Manny's you. a big thirsty guy. Huh? Let me tell you, DJ Manny, I am going <laughs> to quench your thirst this morning because <laughs> bring I, am, the lemonade. I am bringing that lemonade it's gonna be verbal lemonade because we gotta we gotta okay. we gotta okay. be honest okay okay so get to well i'm gonna line you up you do tell the story the boys sell lemonade do you know the gentleman that came up to them that felt so they're on the megaphone the gentleman correct not a gentleman <laughs> i'm gonna let you go lambo <laughs> you're always the spicy one here this is an advocate i don't have an advocate attached to my name so an adult 
came up to your kids. Yes, and I have to say that in the media, it's it's been reported that he's a neighbor. We have been in our home for the past three years. We have the most wonderful neighbors. Yeah. This is not a neighbor. Mm. This is someone that we have never seen mm. in the past three years. And, you know, Lord help us. I mean, I did not tell him very politely. I mean, he called my kids little motherfuckers. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little in, motherfuckers. In front of their face? My eight and 11 year old who's autistic. My 11 year old has <sighs> autism. He was born at one pound. His name is Ness because in Hebrew it means miracle. He was born at what? One pound, two ounces. I have the picture. You got a kid could survive like that? I've never heard that in my life. Exactly. That's why his name you, is Ness. Miracle baby. You have a miracle babies over Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Oh, you, oh. You you definitely God style. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! You definitely God style. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Thank you. So, right right there, I was disgusted. We didn't get to the police yet. What I don't understand: How come a fully grown adult feels comfortable? Mm. And someone's talking about feels comfortable. Listen, I don't know. Maybe they take you know the wheelchair or the walker for weakness. But mm. the thing that happens is that essentially. You say whatever you want about me. You say whatever you want about my husband, who's an incredible human being as well. Yes. Even mention my children. Mm. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's like the rainbow colors yeah, start want, coming up. You want yeah. the smoke, right? And, you know, funny enough, uh, come to me mm. and tell me, bitch, turn off the megaphone. And be like, you know what? You're really miserable. Yeah. But there's a way to speak to people. Don't ever ever speak to my children ever ever in life like it's not even it's not even an option yeah. that should be feasible in your mind um so yeah so he essentially this is 10 45 ish in the morning um you know shows up on my lawn and i'm thinking i'm seeing this guy like he is rushing and i'm like lord look at look at the gazette i mean <laughs> the gazette made a beautiful article shout out to robin de la corte who you know for you as press i was like he needs his lemonade like now he is so in a rush and this is a gentleman to be nice who is probably i'm if i have to guess probably like in his mid 60s okay. so you're talking oh, about Lord. somebody who who knows and and if he didn't know then he knows now that's for sure but i think that you know, I'm thinking this guy really wants his lemonade and, and it really is the city's yeah. best lemonade. Mm -hmm. And so when he gets on the lawn, he puts his hands up and he's like, you little motherfuckers, I'm going to shut you down. So I looked at him. I said, get the fuck off my yeah. property. I'm going to call the cops. Let me just say that um, I'm sure you guys saw the story. Yeah. This poor man, God rest his soul, waited 11 hours for the ambulance and ended up passing away uh, yeah. because nobody came. Let me tell you, the police mm -hmm. were there within 15 minutes for them lemonade bandits, a.k.a. Yeah. my children that yeah. I gave birth to. And so I get it. You get a complaint. Mm. You have to show up. Mm. Great. You show up. You see that there's nothing criminal happening. Mm. You see these two amazing boys who are doing something for someone else but themselves yeah. who are doing something so selfless and so um so incredible and they're lifting up not only the community but thanks to the police right now they're lifting up the whole world yeah and so to try to dim that light so you see you see that i mean you know they don't have no glocks on them or nothing right <laughs> no. they're selling lemonade and it is not spiked i just want to specify <laughs> so now so now your common sense should you know, should kick in and be like, you know what? We came, we saw, and we shall retreat. My issue here, here that I have, because I'm reading the statement, uh, you told the officer, look, I'll pay the fine. Oh, I'm not giving you a fine. You think because you're in a wheelchair, you're above the law. Let me tell you something. What's the officer? Can I have the officer's name? And what's the, is he from station three? He is from station, station three. three. Uh, do you have the, do you have the officer's name? Cause I'm going to call him up. Cause so whoever's at station three, first of all, the mayor of Roxborough needs to start doing something rather than just going for photo ops. Because let me tell you something. That's Thank all you. he does. Okay. That's all he does. When something comes up, he says, I'm going to take care of it. You know, I've met him. I shook his hand once. I'm like, I'm going to take care of it. You do nothing but come for photo ops. You're actually doing nothing for the community. And the municipality of Roxborough needs to have, you know, another mayor step in. So you need to really understand when you're voting, who you're voting for. So I have a problem with this. Let me see this officer's name. Back. I want to say something just to add to um, what you just said. Um, so 
the day after, which we're going to get back to the actual story, but when the cameras were on my lawn and it, it, it was looking like, you know, it was looking like a red carpet, really. Yeah. Uh, the mayor showed up with a huge smile and he was like, you know, I want to help the community and I'm going to help you. And you call me. I mean, we were sure to get the you call me because the camera is right there. Right. Yeah. I just want to say. Right off the bat, I never got a call, not from the mayor, not from the counselors. Nobody, nobody Tommy even Burrow. came to say to me, are you okay? <clears throat> and I, I, I am not okay. Yeah. I am not okay. And if it's the last thing I do, I will stick up for my kids because I teach my kids that when you commit to something, you stick to it. Yeah. And mommy is going to do just that. These children deserve such praise and such and let me tell you they they never wanted this they never did it we never contacted the media i mean it's the public outcry and the yeah. outrage mm. that led us here and you know what god is good and god knows what he's doing and if we all can make that little change that little bit of change we would raise our kids and god willing our grandkids mm -hmm. will leave them with a better world than we brought them in. Yeah, well, that's what we hope the goal is. Absolutely. Okay, so walk me through this. So now the police come. So talk, now, talk first, <laughs> let's just say the beginning of the police comes because this is by no means the police comes and leaves. So the first officer comes. He comes out of his car. He was with a female uh, officer. I'm, I'm like, I know that it's because the gentleman called. So she says, well, I'm going to stay with the kids. And he tells her, well, I'm going to go talk to the mother. So at this point, because this is not a story about me and I didn't want to be like, oh, poor little Ayana. She's sitting on her wheelchair. I'm not even near the lemonade stand. I'm actually on my front porch sitting on my wheelchair. So um, he's sitting, at, he's uh, standing at the bottom of my steps. Yeah. And he tells me, you know, we got a, a noise complaint. And I said, officer, a noise complaint. And he says, yes, your kids are being a nuisance and they're selling lemonade on the street. And I said, okay, officer, look, just because I wanted to de-escalate and I didn't want to have to have any confrontation mm. because I had just seen what happened with that yeah. guy who showed up in my lawn. I said, officer, just give me a fine. I'll pay the fine gladly. Look at these kids. Look at the Gazette. At this point, I'm super chill, super calm. Mm -hmm. And he's like, stop talking to me about the damn lemonade. It's not about the lemonade. I'm tolerating your kids selling lemonade on the street. I said, but they're not on the street. They're on my property. But see, hold exactly. on. See, yeah. hold, hold on. Right, right there with that exchange. Like, yeah. this one understandable about the police. First of all, how is he going to tell you he's tolerating? Like, 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 what's his false sense of authority that these guys seem to have? You're a civil servant. But see, that's how they yeah. move because you, you extra, like, you take a situation there and you, and you take when they when they stop us on the street as black men. They really think that they're above anything. They, they really do. think they're gods. They do. Look what he's telling you. He's on your property, property. telling your kids a nuisance, saying that he's tolerating it. It's not about the damn. First of all, he shouldn't be talking to you like that. Yeah. Why are you saying damn and using all these, you know, objective words? It's okay. All these Ms. swear words. Ms. No respect. You no, know no. what? I want to say something, and, and I want to say this with the utmost respect. Um, so I did say I have three beautiful children of color. My husband is Dominican and Portuguese. Mm. Um... And if the black African-American community mm -hmm. is going through and has gone through, and I'm going to be real honest with you. Mm -hmm. I've seen, I mean, we've seen so many stories. I've lived in Texas in Houston, Texas. I've lived in Florida. And, you know, as a woman who cannot, I mean, nobody can understand the pain of African-Americans in yeah. this world. Yeah, we talked about that. And yeah. no one can understand that. But in that moment... If what I felt was the 0.0001% of the discrimination and mm. the the um, the letdown yeah. of what African Americans go through, mm. I have now come, and I'm going to be the first one to say, we're human beings. Our, our human nature is that we judge. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times you see stories and you start thinking, okay, but is there another side yeah. of the story? Yeah. 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 And I'm telling you, and I am saying this with so much love and respect, I will never do that again, ever, because I, 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 what I felt, it was like he's talking to me and I am seeing my children. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, and, you know, unfortunately for them, I was hoping they have body cams, but it's not convenient for them to have no, body no, no, cams. No, you understand no, no. that, right? I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually advocated for that a few years ago about the body cams trying to get them because yeah. I've had a police officer actually pull a gun to my face. And I talked about my story. 
Yeah. So yeah. No, they no, need the, body cam. No, no, of course they, push, they do. No, they except, push back. except I had the mama cam that morning. And yeah. that's what they didn't, they, they're not getting. And I have to be honest, if you're listening SPVM or lawyer Station or legal three. department, let me tell you this. If, if I were you, I would hire another lawyer because I would have just kept it as we have no comment. By making the comment that they made, the, the statement the that PR they put out to the yeah. press. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have the videos. No, no, I, we have I, the video. Yeah, we can put that. Yeah, we can okay. put that video. So, Miss, what's this? Officer Bango from uh, badge number seven three eight four, Roxborough Station. You should be suspended without pay. They should look into it because you have the nerve. And the mayor of, of Roxborough, please come out to do something about the SPVM that's in your neighborhood, the station three that is in your neck of the woods that you're responsible for, and stop shaking hands and coming for photo ops because that's not what matters. It's the work that you do behind the scenes is what matters. And yes, I'm calling you out. Let's do it. Um, so that, thank you. Mm, I got Princess you. Princess queen, I got you, most girl. beautiful soul oh, human you, being in this world. I feel, you know, the blessings that have come yeah. from this whole ordeal, I mean, I, 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 I just feel so blessed to be in the presence. And this is one of them. She's just oh, an incredible you. soul and the support that I have felt from this woman. I mean, it's, it's been the community has rallied. Mm -hmm. Would you believe if I tell you that people are, are knocking at my door until 10 o'clock at night? just to shake my son's hands yeah. to bring donations people i mean after that statement was put out and you know i did so many interviews i did you know tv lcn i did uh, cjad i did virgin radio which we're gonna have to talk about i was just gonna say we are gonna have to talk about it. um I, I i did ctv i did city tv i mean i did them all and so after that those 2% of haters, after they saw the SPVM statement, were writing for me to go kill myself, that I'm probably lying about being sick, that I'm using my children. Let me tell you something. I promise you that I'm no criminal, but I really didn't need to use my kids to scam anyone. Like we thank God we're blessed. We have a beautiful home. You know, we we I have my husband, I have my amazing children. Yeah. So let's let's get real and let's let's talk about what the real problem yeah. is shame yeah. on you virgin radio let me just say that okay. and okay. shame on the people yeah, let's get that bit before you we know? come out let's get that bit virgin radio uh, no, we on. talk we talk about commercial radio yeah. all the time yeah, and their yeah. nonsense and they yeah. want to censor everything but also shame on the people you know what I'm going to say? Fuck you, the people that are saying that she's faking MS. Because I had a friend who had MS and it is a horrible disease to watch somebody yeah. go through. So you don't understand MS. You don't understand it's the lesions in the brain that start to break down the body. Mm -hmm. It is a neurological disorder that breaks down everything in your body. And stress, stress causes flare-ups. Go watch... Go watch the Selma Blair documentary to oh, have a wow. better understanding. I know about MS very well because I advocated for my friend when nobody would listen. Okay. It is a horrible disease. Yeah. And this stress that she's had to go under, Ayana doesn't deserve to go through this. So fuck you, everybody that is trying to say that she's a gypsy or trying to say that she's faking having MS. Go fuck yourself. Lambo said it. The real Svetlana, Svetlana Trienko. All the fucking names. I said it. I love you, mama. Thank you. I, <laughs> I know. Just looking at me like, I'm going to email for that. <laughs> we'll pay the, I'll fine. pay the fine. We'll pay the fine. But I just want to specify one little thing. Um, so if you go on Virgin Radio, iHeart.ca, mm -hmm. there's, um, and I want to specify that I did not contact any of the media. Um, the media mm -hmm. contacted me. It's been a media frenzy. Most of them have had a lot of integrity. Uh, but unfortunately, the truth is we're a story, right? Yeah. And everybody's running with it. That being said, if you go on iHeartRadio, the mayor, God bless his soul, um, you can get his interview. But they contacted me. They were crying. I mean, I took, I have no time. I don't know if I'm peeing. I don't know if I'm showering. I don't know if I'm brushing my teeth. No time. And when a source, we're going to say a source because I'm not going to reveal who that is. Uh, because I was looking for the interview and I'm like, I just spent all this time and I really think that there's such a strong mm. message. I mean, I, I really put my heart out there and they decided they still aired, uh, Mr. Jim Bass's interview on iHeartRadio. You can still see it. Go mm. check it out. Oh, it's Jim. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you see, but, uh, but let me good. tell you, but let me tell you, they apparently did not want to air after contacting me and taking my time. Yeah. Um, uh, they did not want to air it because it was too newsy. I don't know. 
I don't know what that means. It means you're politically incorrect. They're everybody. I have to say it. Well, you have. I have. Well, I'm well, a mom. Video. I seen the video. Uh, I have a mom. I, I seen the mom. video. I, I seen the video. What did you What did you do wrong? Okay. I seen the video. My eyes hurt, but I'm gonna take out my glasses because I wanna. I want you to look me in the eyes. I am a mom. I have balls of steel. Yeah. Okay. Steel. Mm. And and my husband always says like, don't talk to my wife. She's got more balls than all of us in this room. <laughs> so when it comes to my children, balls of steel and Virgin Radio clearly. People, a lot of people are telling me we don't want to go against the SPVM. I'm a big girl, okay? I could, I could take care of myself. Yeah. How about you just focus on what these, what incredible work these two boys have done? Mm -hmm. And now look at how God works. Someone said to me yesterday, if you're wondering why you have MS, which I don't wonder because I know that everything is from God. I'm not a religious woman, but I am a woman of faith. Mm -hmm. That's what I teach my kids. And someone said to me, if you're wondering, why you got MS. This is why your children have brought change into this world mm -hmm. on so with a glass of lemonade. Yeah. And I'm still waiting on my They cup, raised though. over two thousand dollars. Yeah, but, but and I just want to show you something and I'd like you just to mention it no, to sure. your amazing listeners. Um and for everybody else. So my boys, had they told me they were raising money for a new PS5. I would have supported them just as much because they're my son took his own debit card. This is just Sunday's profits. Shout out to Ariel and S and they're going to be selling lemonade. This the Saturday. loves of my look, life. Look at that. Look at that. We, we up 2K over here. That's that's dope. What, ta what time? Is Multiple sclerosis. And can you just say that it's been paid already? I mean, the donations. my kids yeah, yeah. have not kept you one dollar. They already forwarded the money. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing see it here. Okay. They to the MS. love of my life, this 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 little one pound miracle of mine. He's so excited because he got his first debit card and he literally walks in the house. Mommy, it's a credit card. I'm like, I need to say, yeah, mommy, but it's mine. He used his own card. And when he when he made the donation mm -hmm. on his own, might I add, to the MS Society online, and I'm going to get to why we did it online, because originally that wasn't the plan, um, he wrote, in honor of my mom. Well, see, see, there you go, man. That's sweet, man. Some good Wait, boys you raised you right there. You know what? They're going to be having the Lemonade Stand this weekend on Saturday. Can you tell everybody at what time and what corner to meet? Absolutely. So it's on 14th Street at the corner of 17th Avenue in Roxborough. We are just... Um, what time are they going to be there? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Perfect. So anybody wants to come support uh, Ariel and Ness and support uh, the Multiple Sclerosis Society, mm -hmm. come out and get that amazing lemonade. I'm actually going to be coming there before my barbecue to come get some lemonade and to make a donation as well. Yeah, pick up, pick, pick so me up my lemonade. I definitely will. If anybody wants to come and donate lemons, I suggest come out, show up, get a glass of beautiful lemonade, support the MS Society and uh, bring some lemons too. We're going to keep these kids going. We're going to keep the story going because what they're doing is amazing. Weezy, will you read that? Uh, so it says, Ness Partouche has made a generous donation to the Multiple Sclerosis Society of Canada in your honor. Attaches your electronic greeting cards. Look, look at that. They give you a greeting card. You believe card. that? You that, believe that? Look, look at the MS. Well, let me tell you, it's a $2,000 greeting card, honey. So the most expensive one I got was from my son. Did it move? Oh, there you go. You know what? Everything is moving right now. Like, it's been, it, it, you know how people say, like, it's been a day. It's been a couple weeks. No, I don't mean, no worry. You're going to have some more. Yeah. Ayana, we want to thank, thank you for being you. on the show, thank man. So um, it's my pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. And, you know, hopefully I won't have the SWAT team again at my home. Uh, uh, you never know with this province, man. You never know, 